really enjoy the ride. Imagine coming up a set of rapids like that. You know, you couldn't do that with a canoe. What's going on guys? A quick shout out to our sponsor of today's video and that is DJI. So today we are talking about the DJI Mavic Mini and in particular the Fly More combo that comes with extra batteries, a charging hub, extra propellers, a shoulder bag and more and how you guys can get this freaking awesome very small compact drone for a discounted rate. All right boys let's take the Mavic Mini for a little flight. Let's do this. Here we go. So guys, I've been flying the Mavic Mini a ton lately. We even brought it on race week. So you guys saw some clips from there, which I'll be showing in just a second. I love the ultralight design and high grade motors. The Mavic Mini flies up to 30 minutes and has three batteries in the Fly More pack. The Mavic Mini normally retails at $399. And I think it's just perfect for our channel. We're so on the go, we can throw the mini carrying case in any of the cars and take it with us on our trips. All you guys gotta do to get one of these is click the link in my description and use my promo code to get 5% off when you check out so as you guys saw we got some freaking killer footage with this thing i gotta say it was super easy to set up and fly for anyone who's kind of afraid to get into the drone world they simplified flying drones as much as they possibly could dji made this mavic mini so easy to set up and fly a drone like this is absolutely perfect for me because you can literally fold this sucker up just like this drop it in your carrying case and that's it you're good to go now although it is pocket size it does pack a punch as far as camera quality goes you can go all the way up to 2.7k or do 1080p at 60 frames which is typically how you guys see our videos but if you guys want to pick up a dji mavic mini you can click the link in the description below use my link to get five percent off on your own drone but a big thanks to dji for sponsoring today's video let's get back to the live action damn coop got the subaru running Oh, brother. All right, guys. So we got Jage and Chad here for a very special presentation. So you're probably wondering, why am I wearing this sick outfit? I need a sick outfit. It's, not really it's because a little sweaty. the vehicle I'm showing you guys today is from the 1980s. Oh boy. So <laughs> let me just tell you this. Let me tell you this. What's one thing you would have died to have as a young child? Pinto. Okay. We can make that happen. Okay. <laughs> not, that's not a bad one. Justin, anything? I mean. Think outside the box a little bit. Man, yeah. You got me on that one. Okay. All right. Well, let me, let me show you. You got me on that one. Let me one. show you what you couldn't think of. <laughs> what, what I'm about to show you is right behind this door. Are you guys ready? I guess. Hold on. Let me get in here. Damn. Damn. I have no idea what it is. Here we go. Oh, oh my god, god. Yes, sir. Oh, 1987 dude, Scat yes, Hovercraft. I love it. <laughs> no way. So, uh, listen. Here's a, here's the a spiel. This is fully restored. Sky guy up in Ocala restored the whole unit. And it... <laughs> you should just wait. She ripped. need to ask a question like that. I am. So listen, I drove it earlier. I see the grass. Took it on its maiden voyage. But you guys are here to see it on its first ever water crossing. Because these can go on land, sea, or air. Anywhere. Technically, it's technically an aircraft. It is an aircraft, yeah. You have to do a pre-flight check. So, uh. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go ahead and do the three-second glance so pre-flight check. <laughs> Looks impressed. good. Looks so good. Was I, I not right about you wanting one of these as a kid? Dude, 
Yeah. I, want, I want one of these as an adult. I'm a little, I'm a little yeah. confused on the outfit, though, to go with it's this. It's a 1987, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make these anymore dude, does for it a have reason. like a twist throttle? Yeah. Like no a, way. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Kneel yeah it's like a dirt bike. You kneel. You kneel. No way. <laughs> no, you kneel, not sit. <laughs> not built for big boys. <laughs> it's a very weird riding style. I can tell. That's awesome. It's got like a rudder, rudder, like an airboat or something. It does. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an airboat with. It's basically an airboat. Yeah. All right. Let me take her out real quick. Yeah, fire Show her. Show you guys up. what she's got. Oh. Warn you, this is the first time I've flown in this outfit. It's a two person. I don't know though. It's barely got enough juice <laughs> for one person. So. Might need more power. Need some more knots. So we're going to put some nitrous on it for sure. It definitely gets dusty in there. You need dogs. <laughs> in general, I sit on stuff and break. Look at that, already filled up. Put your goggles on, your safety. Hey, it's coming to the sand dunes. Get ready, boys. Nice. He's just gonna hit the pond right away. Yeah, yeah. and then turn around. Right now. Go, right in. go in on the end though. You think I should go in gradual though or just hit it? Right in. Alright. Wide open. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. He's going full rip, huh? I think that was the most successful water adventure we've had on this channel. It really was. It did it effortlessly. Really God, put dude, this... I held her wide open for like 10 minutes there. Yeah. I'm worried I was going to pop the old head gasket. You might have. Right <laughs> I can tell she's running a little hot when I got down deep by the Snake River Gap. Both had a shutter. I thought you were going to hit it. Can you let off in the water? I think you. I think it floats. Yeah, I think it'll it's float. It's like a boat. It's probably got yeah. a knee hole. It's fiberglass. Well, I didn't know, so I just stayed wide open. I mean, I don't blame you. So I'm going to go in the water, let off the throttle, and just make... I don't think it's going to sink, but we're going to just... Are you going to go into like one of the deep spots or maybe like nor towards the shallow? The we'll stay near the edge. <laughs> All right. Chad, how are your swimming skills? If you were to rate them. them. Right there, you know? <laughs> it's quite a large man. Yeah, 
and go fishing. I mean, it probably feels really fast, but it looks pretty slow. Appearance is slow, but it feels quick on the water. Like, yeah. Be doing that. He was like 30. I was like, ah, eh, maybe 10. <laughs> yeah, but look at the speed it takes down. Yeah, it loves the water. The blades, the blades turn, like they need to be turned out a little bit because it revs up and hits like, I mean, I can tell it's over revving and starting to lose power. I think to get it down into its power band, we got to angle the blades a little more. It runs pretty good though. All right, Spice. Go get him, Tiger. Let's see a pond crossing. Okay, just don't let off the throttle while you're like ripping. Yeah, because it'll crash. It'll crash. If you're sideways and you let off the throttle, you will roll. Wow. Minutes. It's a little sketch. Chad doing the Snake River Gap, dude. Dude, there's a bunch of debris in the fan guard, and it makes it so slow. Dude, sometimes the stupidest things are the most fun things ever. I love it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! There's a river, dude! I like this reverse entry. <laughs> Damn. It's so sick, but it's so dirty. Yeah, dude, it's 80s technology. So what's the plan here? We were parking up and then Justin was like, I could probably jump the Snake River Gap while you're underneath it. And I was like, yeah, that's probably the best idea I've ever heard. That is the best idea I've heard in the last 45 minutes. Shock therapy. 
for uh, lending me a shirt here. So awesome. I'm one step closer to the pilot's license. Did you notice how smooth it is going from land to water? You would not have thought that, but it is a glide. <laughs> like in there, it's like full air ride suspension, literally air ride. <laughs> Guys, I'm calling out Mike Finnegan's twin turbo big block jet boat to a race. Wow. The rules are aggressive first race call out, but rules like are it. we have to start at a gas station, drive while he unloads, I unload, and we race to a marker on the lake. And I'll let, eh, we'll, we'll figure out the spot, but that'll be the rules because then while he's unloading, I'll be on my way because I'll freaking jump this thing off the trailer. <laughs> so, Finian, I know you're seeing this. I'll see you out on the lake soon, but guys, the uh, the cleater craft is really just ripping here, so. Uh, gonna get her cleaned up because she's very dirty. Gonna need some pressure washing. So we're gonna mount up a cooler, uh, maybe mount up the fuel tanks a little sketch still, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for now. We'll freaking see you later.